All right, let's watch this because I don't really care to listen to it because it's just going to be a, re a repetition. In the areas of domestic relations litigation and consumer bankruptcy matters. I also have a secondary passion in woodworking and custom furniture building, as you can probably tell from the shop where I'm coming at you from. Uh, to those followers that joined after watching me appear on Legal Bites, Nate the Lawyer, Uncivil Law, oh, Ho Law, Good Logic, or all of the other various LawTube channels, hand thank at L'Oreal so event taken by a fan. Without the support from you and the immense support from that LawTube community, that just means she punched Johnny. Wouldn't exist. That looks photoshopped. Um, on this channel, we're going to tackle a little bit of everything, from legal analysis uh, to building some. Cuts. Okay, I I'll be honest. Th okay, th this would be like from her punching Johnny. This is a punching hand right uh this also could be easily photoshopped the, the picture's definitely like color corrected so it easily could have been edited um let's enhance let's enhance a little bit i mean it's uh no yeah i mean that looks pretty convinced it's hard to tell uh but yeah this is a punching hand this is a punching hand this is yeah um punching him or punching a wall or punching something um <clears throat> i don't yeah i don't see how this is a fan photo i don't know we'll see i don't i really understand this is a fan photo but because i guess she zoomed in really close um yeah anyway moving on custom furniture and maybe a few diy hacks along the way regardless of where the channel goes we're going to try and keep things fun okay now let's jump into it Many of you might know that I've been covering the Johnny Depp. No, he Amber hit her hand with his head. True. Fairfax Circuit Court. She didn't punch Johnny. She hit just him. Just down the road from here. As you might know by now, Johnny Depp has filed a $50 million defamation lawsuit against his former spouse, Amber Heard, stemming from a December 2018 op-ed piece in which, in the Washington Post, in which Depp claims that Heard implied that she was the victim of domestic violence at his hands. Depp has accused Heard of perpetuating a hoax to get him canceled while elevating her own notor notoriety. That forms the basis for her $100 million countersuit for defamation on those grounds. So I today, I want to talk million about one specific suit? claim that Holy Amber's shit. made in connection with the incident that she alleges occurred at Johnny Depp's Los Angeles Totally not for money. On December 15th of 2015, <laughs> Amber alleges that she and Depp were fighting I didn't know it was 100 million. and Depp dragged her by her hair through the apartment and eventually ended up headbutting her. Amber, at that point, told Depp she was leaving him and turned away. She then alleges that Depp pushed her onto this the bed. This video is hearsay. Love now. Pushed her face down onto the mattress and then he put right. his knee on her back. All right, she get alleges a bit. that this, all this Here's the issue I noticed when listening to Heard's testimony on this specific incident. The bed, quite simply, could not have broken in the manner that Amber describes. But we can get to that a little bit later. First, let's listen to Amber describe the scene, or at least identify the photo so we get some context for what we're about to see. Yes, it does. Your Honor, I move the admission of Defendants 509. This, this one's hard to watch because she's really sad. Oops. Will you please tell the jury what this is? That's the bed that Johnny broke. Well, on top of me. Yes. 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 That's what happened. Okay. So now we have the photo that identifies the bed itself. Let's take a closer look at that and see if we can't see some more information about it or at least get a little bit more context, okay? Okay. So she's identified the photo. So this is what's in evidence in the Fairfax Circuit Court trial. This is also the photo that was introduced in the UK trial. Now, this photo tells us a bunch of information about the bed itself. One, UK we know trial. That this is the foot of the bed. We know that from a photo I'll show you in a second here. We also know that the, this bed is constructed uh, via essentially uh, timbers. Um, most beds you will see will be a three quarter inch rail that will. Because it looks like a piece of wood just split uh, instead, and got pulled off. This appears to be a platform bed using nothing looks broken. You have a chunkier feel to it. We also know this because Amber describes it as being very, very heavy, which you'll hear a little bit later. But let's see if we can't learn any more information about this particular Yeah, don't photo. forget that you're such a pussy, Johnny. So, yeah, I know. Here's something that we discovered in the Fairfax Circuit Court case. And it was discovered incident to various motions to compel and motions for sanctions regarding the metadata that was released. 
The metadata indicates that this photo was taken on December 16th of 2015. Now you'll remember that Amber described the events as taking place December 15th in the evening. This photo was not taken knife. until the very next day. Now let's take a closer look at the bed. This photo was taken from the virtual tour. Dude, straight up, you can't break that bed, bro. Straight up, you can't break that bed. Like, that is a rock. Provided when uh, Johnny was selling that condo. Why is that so even a talking this point? This photo, you can actually you can't get a break that bed. idea of the size of the bed and where we're talking about. So down the sides, you can see that those are the timbers. Timber comes, another timber meets, and another timber wraps back. You can actually see here the chunk is still existing. Odd though, this chunk in this photo appears to extend all the way to the edge, whereas the last photo, the chunk looked like it was limited to this area. I'm not sure that's relevant, but it's something to worth no it's something worth noting. So one of the questions that I had when I first saw this he had photo sharp raises in the bottom of his feet. Yeah, true. Was a faux or a fake timber? Whether someone had basically created the look of a live edge by creating something that looked like this, and then wrapping it to bring it down to the bottom. So a three quarter inch piece and a three quarter inch piece. Now, upon further inspection of the photo itself, you kind of learn that there's no way that's actually possible. And let me describe why. So blowing that photo up and then adding a little bit of light to it just to enhance the brightness so we can see a little clearer. You can see that this here, see these dark areas? These dark areas are end grain. Wood, when you look at it straight on like this, this is running with the grain. So that's like this genuine wood. Is the all end of grain that. of the wood. The end grain of the wood, when you apply a stain, becomes far, far, far darker than the grain itself. The reason why is the grain pores run this way. When you think of a tree, a tree is growing up like that. When the tree is growing up, everything in here, all the nutrients have to pass up and down. That's what forms the grain structure in wood. So when you cut a piece of wood right across the top and expose Why aren't the more people grain, bringing this up? You are exposing well, all of those cellular grains. Just like the Milani Cosmetics, they can't bring up uh, stuff outside of the court case. They can't even research the court case. Uh, I think, I don't know the specifics, but like, I, I know you can't like structures that look outside the from the of the court case. All the way to the leaves. And when you put stain, stain on those, the stain absorbs faster and heavier into those areas, okay. which results in this extra darkening. So now that we know about the bed, let's see what happens or let's see what Amber alleges happens in order to cause that break. Okay, so now that we have an idea of what the bed looks like, let's get into the specifics of Amber's allegations. Now, this is the statement that she made in the UK trial. We're going to walk through the relevant portions here. That's true. She has At never considered time, herself a victim. You can see from the top that she is alleging Johnny Did Camille pushed bring her it up yesterday? And got on top of her. Okay. Now, what you can see is that she is saying that his whole weight was on me and he put his knee on my back and his other foot on the bed frame. This is the part I want you to focus on. Knee on the back, other foot on the bed frame. Yeah, how would okay. that even be possible? At the time that, at the same time, he was punching me in the head, screaming over and over, so how the bed right shaped. in my ear, how much he hated me. The bed frame splintered, and that's all I remember. She goes on to say that she, she doesn't remember anything else until she her forgar. friend Rocky Pennington comes in the room, and she's sitting on the floor after Johnny had left. <clears throat> so that's Amber's statement in the UK trial. This is what the UK court uh, basically found her claim to be. This was taken from one of Johnny's yeah, responses. Yeah, half of his weight was to, on the bed. Uh, either discovery responses or to the. So UK if the bed's court's, that weak, uh, they can't even sleep on allegations. it. At this point in time, let's take a look at this. All right. So fight continued on the bed. Claimant got on top of Ms. Hurd and placed his knee on her back, similar statement, and other foot on the bed frame while repeatedly punching her in the head. Claimant screamed. Mm, we're not sure how we're going to edit this one. I don't think I'm going to leave the profanities in for this particular video. I, bleeping, hate you. Over and over again. The bed frame splintered under the weight of the pressure of the claimant's boot. Damn, the he's got some heavy ass boots. Under the weight of the pressure of the claimant's boot. So the UK court is basically saying, per Amber, that the reason why the bed 
splintered was because Johnny's boot had exerted so much pressure that it caused the timber to actually splinter. Okay, so that's the UK court's recitation of Amber's, of Amber's claim. Now, curiously, Whitney, Amber's sister, also gave a statement. Now, hers is oh. a little bit more interesting. Okay. In Whitney's statement, she said that. That, that when she got there, the bed was disheveled. She noticed it had a very heavy wood frame, which also supports our uh, understanding that this was a timber, uh, solid timber framed bed, uh, and noticed that it had splintered and there was a chip in the wood. I like this word. We're going to focus on that in a minute here. It's going to make a lot of sense soon. There was a blonde, there was blonde hair and blood stuck in the splinter on the bed frame. Now that part. What? Part, I'm wondering if you guys are asking questions yourselves. Uh, it might be explained away by Amber's statement of uh, being leaning against the bed when Rocky got in there, but it seemed kind of odd to me. What? So now that we know what the allegations are. Did he are, rip out her hair and shove it into the let's piece hear of wood? Say them in her own words in the Fairfax trial uh, at Thursday's hearing. Okay. This is her description of the incident specifically focused on that particular time when she is saying that the bed splintered under Johnny's weight. So let's take a look at this. I was sitting on the edge of the bed. Goddamn Johnny's on fat. The carpet of the floor against the, the broken frame of the bed. And there was a low lying bed um, with a really thick wooden uh, frame. And uh, it was broken from his boot trying to get a purchase on it while he was objection your honor calls for speculation i could feel it you could feel the bed breaking Overall. thank you please continue i remember this part he was there for it um and while he was on top of me i could feel that i could feel him I'm really confused why they even use this as a talking point. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's I like what happened to me from the time I was him breaking the bed is proof that, that he abused her. I how? It's a really weird feeling because I even if he broke the bed, the it's I still how laying, leaning against the broken part of the bed and on the carpet, and I my friend saying, "Oh my God, objection, oh my God. Your Honor." Hearsay sustained. Okay. Okay. So that's the relevant part of the testimony for our purposes. Now, the thing that I found curious about that one, well, one, let's go ahead and clear up the fact that- show how strong he is, but he did it by bed, accident. Which might explain why a blonde hair was in the chip on the bed. But the most interesting part of that testimony is her testimony saying that she could feel it, that she knew and that she was there. The reason you why that's to interesting to me is because me one, her face was down per her own testimony. I watched that. In a her second. testimony was that he was that Johnny was pushing her head so far into the covers that she was muffled. She felt like she couldn't breathe, and his whole weight was on her body. Remember the statement earlier: knee on the back and foot on the bed. Yet she testifies that she can feel him squirming around, or at least trying to gain purchase on the bed. Now, <coughs> this is important because it also gives you an understanding of where Johnny's boots are and how Amber reaches this conclusion that the boots somehow caused the break in the bed. We'll just have to explore it. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to actually do a little baby mock-up of this bed. And I'm going to explain to you why, given the bed's, uh, bed's construction and the description that Johnny's boots actually caused that break, that this testimony is, uh, for lack of a better term, complete BS and not possible. Oh, all right, let's okay. see it. So as you can see here, we have a little mock-up of Johnny's bed. Now, this is done with 4x4 pine, which is a little bit smaller, but still the same material that was Johnny's bed. I could tell it was pine. You can tell it was pine because if you look back at those photos, you can see the width between the grain. That gives you an indication that it's a softwood rather than a hardwood. A lot of hardwood you will see will have tighter grain patterns. So now with these timbers, what you're going to see is that in order people to can get break the, timber, the bed while having sex too. To so there's no point to that. That was my point. Tree. <clears throat> the larger the timber, the larger the tree. But generally, they're all going to be this particular pattern. We're going to have the circle, the very center of the tree, 
towards the center of the timber. Now this is relevant when we start talking about how this is alleged to have occurred. So we have our two lengthwise uh, posts and then the footboard of the bed. Now per Amber's testimony, if this is the mattress where my hand is right here, then Johnny's feet are here on the footboard trying to, in her words, gain purchase. Now the interesting thing about the gaining purchase is it kind of illustrates the problem here. Grain, as we discussed earlier, runs this way. These are very tight concentric cellular, or tight cellular structures. Imagine if they were, uh, let's say, mm, call them straws. If everything here was a straw running in this direction, and let's say that you wanted to divide those straws. There's literally a note to them to that they should have sex on MDMA, so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> the and fuck? And pry your way in. Now, the reason why that's important here is because with this type of wood, and actually with all woods, uh, you need something sharp to get in between those grains. If you put a blunt object up against here, it's just not going to do anything. Uh, for anyone who's ever hammered pine, you know that you're going to dent the pine before you ever break it off because you're hitting it with a blunt object. Let's illustrate what Amber was describing. So she, so she used a knife Johnny is, is what I'm getting at, right? So, That's what this is about. Now that we've got it situated that this way. she purposely used a what knife. What we're looking at is mattress over here, Johnny allegedly over here. Now, I don't have any fancy <coughs> boots, but I do have work boots. So we're going to try and illustrate what it is that Amber's saying with uh, a Timberland Pro. Get he got Tim's? Enough pull period it just slides right off there's nothing it's ever going to catch he doesn't even have to because explain it like it let me show you there right. is no grip that i can get either either with my hand or a boot that does anything to dig into that grain that would cause that type of fracture so let me do one more little thing to show you something so here's what we've done we've taken away the long rails Leaving only the footrest. Yeah, so something sharp had the to happen. The only fathom away that I can see get in there. that particular break happening, as described by Amber. All right, let's see it. That, that literally looks exactly like what it, yeah. That literally looks exactly like what it was. The sharp knife is the only thing that can penetrate the grain in order to cause that split. Sharp knife and leverage is the only thing that can make that pop. So when you're looking at wood like this, when you have grain running So this what? Way, That's so weird. This, that type of break. So did she cut the bed? Like this. Sharp knife. It's it's either she she did it herself, broke the bed or or there, it happened a while ago or something did it. I don't know how. And then she's just using it as evidence for this shit. And I'll tell you why that makes it's me so very weird. curious. This is why Amber Heard's testimony bothered me that day. Because what I saw was this type of damage, which is what's yep. reflected. Wow, that, that is like, that is literally that perfect. Is by a knife. Now, I'm not saying what this is. Oh! Oh! I'll leave that oh! for the judge, the jury, and the trial attorneys to decide if they want to argue that point. Oh! But to me, oh! I don't know. What do you guys think? Why don't you leave your answers in the comments there's, below? Dude, there's no way she's that video. dumb. There's no way she's that stupid. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh my God. <clears throat> Is she that dumb? You know, yeah, you're right. She, you know what? You're right. She is that dumb. Let's be real, guys. She is that dumb. If you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, uh, it really does. Oh my God. She is so fucking dumb. She got got. Again, chat. Again. People on Twitter. How the fuck are you siding with Amber, dude? What is wrong with you? How is anyone siding with Amber? The only reason people are siding with Amber is so they don't get called a sexist. 
because for some weird reason, they think that it's sexist to not side with Amber. Like, goddamn. All right, I want to see what this is. You wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. I have you? never, never wanted to be seen as a victim. Nor have you? I ever called myself one. <laughs> oh, dude, Camille, like, God, Camille got her so payment. good, man. C Camille really just destroyed her entire case. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribe? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.